Hi guys. Hi. I'm here with Macy. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're here to do a little sit down chit chat. Um, we're just going to give you all the tips that we have for nursing school. Take them with a grain of salt because <laughs> we're no, really use, making it. Use them. Yeah, but like these are actually kind of helpful. Yes, we have two quarters left. We've lived through four, four quarters. Unfortunately, <laughs> so we we at least have some experience, good or bad. Take it or leave it. It's been fun. It's been real, but it ain't been real fun. So, Agreed. first and foremost, note taking. I got an iPad my second quarter. When did you get your iPad? Did you already have it. I have it. I got it at Stanford. Gotcha. Highly recommend. Yes. Get you an iPad. It's so much fun. I'll let Macy what present. What app do you use? use I use one. GoodNotes, but a lot of people like Notability, and she got it. She got it looking nice. I use Notability. Um, I think my iPad is just a little like overworked, so it like kind of takes a second for everything to load from iCloud. I mean, it's on here, but it's like, we have to take a Come second to load. Um, but you can like organize your subjects in folders. And then, yeah, like add notes to there, like straight from like your Canvas app. So things that they want us to write on or like forms that they want us to like write out, you can just send it to Notability or your app. And what'd you say? Good notes? Yeah, I use good notes. It's like the same thing. Yeah. They're just, just like a little different, different setup. Yeah. Um, but it's really nice because like you would do like drug cards all the time. And I would just like copy and paste like the template because we they kind of let us use like whatever template we wanted as long as it had like all the stuff. And I would just do it on my iPad because I was like, it's just so much easier for me. Instead of yeah. wasting all that yeah, paper. Instead of like printing everything out. Yes. And the remediation, remediation <laughs> for like ATI templates, I would have to like go on my laptop and I would just airdrop the template to my iPad and then I could just copy and paste that same template wherever I wanted and I would just do it like that because remediation is so much and you do we did have to print it at the end anyway to put it in a binder but it was just so much more like neat with my iPad and everything I also highly recommend getting the paper like screen protector off Amazon I think if you literally search that you'll find it and it's like ten dollars um and it literally feels like paper. It's so much fun. Because if you don't have it, your handwriting will be so bad. Because oh, it's just slipping and sliding on there. Tip. Yes. Oh, you have one. Also, get a, like, metal tip. I feel like I'm in a makeup video. <laughs> um, instead of the plastic one, get the little metal one. I will say, though, mine started scratching my screen protector since I have a paper one. But my I have, like, literally four backups. So it's just, like, the metal starts to wear down because I have a heavy hand. So that's probably my fault, but whatever. But like you can write like more neat and like whatever. way Articulate. more neat. I <laughs> neater is that a word? Neater. Neater. Way more neater. More neat mm, or neater? No, I don't think there's. A, I don't think neater is a word. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I might um see if I can upload one of my like notes. You can see like how it's set up or whatever. Um, I'll either put it like insert it or I'll just link it down below. Um, we already kind of talked about templates, but you can find a lot on Etsy if you don't want to make your own, but you can also make your own on the iPad too. You can just make like text boxes if you want. I've seen a lot of people do that. Also, I know GoodNotes has like a community section so that you can search other people's notes. Um, that's always really fun because some people make them way more aesthetic than I do. And I would rather just steal them because I don't have all that time. I will say that I feel like the past quarter or two, I stopped using my iPad as much because now it's like I haven't even had time to like write out everything. I like write out big things, but I couldn't just sit there and like take whole notes because I wasn't really doing much of the like, like farm. I would like always have to write it out to remember it, like write it out, write it out. Um, but now like where we are in the nursing program, it's less like rote memorization and more like application. Yeah. So it's less just facts i mean like yeah you have to know that and then be able to apply it but it's not just like facts i guess as farm was yeah it's not like you're memorizing like flashcards anymore really like still you know, to like, an extent through things yeah 
You want to talk about Quizlet? Yes. Um, okay, so I think that Quizlet, speaking of talking things out, I think Quizlet and Kahoot have really helped us. I love to um, use Quizlet to learn the information, like to learn the facts, and then we'll do a bunch of practice questions. Um, there, there's a lot of questions in our textbook and in the ATI book. Or even on nurse labs, that's always a good resource. Like you can literally type in uh, whatever COPD questions, whatever topic y'all are learning and do. They had literally just for neurological, they had 150 questions. Like there's plenty. Um, so you can find out what you know and if you can apply it. And then it'll give you the rationale of why that was the right answer. Um, but that's been really helpful to help us just quiz ourselves and see because you know if you read something you're like oh, okay I got this but then you see it on a question you're like I have no idea mm -hmm. so you like you have to go through the I have no idea to even yes. know what you don't know practice questions help like so much and honestly so many people have made quizlets already and I really think that teachers use nurse labs like to even for their questions. Yeah, like, some of ours did. Yes, it's definitely very helpful. And there's just so many. And I will say if you do use Kahoot instead of Quizlet, it's way easier to just find questions in the textbook or online that are already like pre-made. Because if not, you have to create your own wrong answers and you don't want to make the answer obvious where you don't have to try. Um, but I will say just making Quizlets and Kahoots is like studying on its own because you're seeing the information even if you're not really actively doing it you're passively seeing it so then when you see it again like i would literally make a whole kahoot myself type it all out and then i would take it later like a week later or whatever and i'd be like i don't remember any of this but that's a good thing because it's not like you're just you know. like oh i know what that answer was but i didn't have to try but just seeing it over and over like do it as many times as you can that's why quizlet can be so helpful and sometimes you just have to word it a certain way. Like, yeah, nursing isn't just like memorizing a definition, but you don't have to just make it like that. And there are so many definitions or like lab values that you, you're just always going to need to know. So that's still helpful. Um, one of my favorite things was using the whiteboard for active recall. Um, I did that. I really did that one time for adult health too. No, one, one. Because we did respiratory and me and my friend just sat there and we would be like, we would scroll in a study guide, just like random and be like pneumonia. And you would just have to run to the right whiteboard and like write pneumonia and be like, what can I remember about it? Like what, like uh, testing do they do to figure out if you have it? Obviously like test x-ray and stuff. Um, what are the signs and symptoms? Um, we would try to remember what's the like biggest main sign, sign and symptom. And if you missed anything that we thought was important from the study guide, then you could write it if you wanted, or you would just know for the next time. So then if you got it again, you would know it. And that helped a lot because it was just like, you can't like just be like, oh, I'm going to peek because I don't know. Like you just, you have to stare at the whiteboard and just think of it in your head. So I really like that. Yeah, going along with that, it's really helpful to have a study group and study with people. And a game that one of our friends created is kind of similar like that um like we split up in teams and then he'd say uh, a topic like pneumonia and then we'd run to the board or we'd already be there and <laughs> write out like both people like wouldn't look at each side and write out everything we could remember and then just like tally it up like you just gotta get creative and yeah. find ways that like work for you and that was just a really helpful way for us to put our knowledge like on the board and then um, go back over it just as a group, like everything that we missed or what one person knew, but this person didn't. Mm -hmm. And it, like, it was just helpful to see like, oh, like I didn't remember that point. Like, um, it was just good to go over it. Yeah. Um, also, Macy made a game one time that was, like, matching, but it was, like, physical, so she, like, cut out all these, um, it was for pediatrics, so it was, like, yeah, it was, like, vital signs, yeah, it was, like, vital signs and age-appropriate play, and that helps so much, because I'm just so visual, and so just, like, me, like, taking the categories and, like, moving all the little pieces of paper, be like, these are all the things that you can do when you're a toddler to play, and I would, like, literally remember, and, because some of them would repeat, and then also... 
Pushpool that, Toys. Yes, Pushpool Toys. <laughs> um, one to two. <laughs> I think, like, toddler. <laughs> um, but that, oh my gosh, that was so much stuff. Because there was just all these stages. And there were just, every little thing was, like, so different for every little stage that when they're growing up. And what we would do is we would just, like, out loud quiz each other and be like, make little, like, fun signs and, like, games and be like, what do they do now? And be like, stand up, like, <laughs> and fall back down and be like, roll over and push up. And we would just make little, like, hand gestures and stuff and just like, sing it out loud over and over and over. It was really the only way we could do that. Because since we had so many things in a category, you couldn't just be like, what are things they can do at this age on a Quizlet? Because there's, like, a whole list. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's not helpful. So that helped a lot. Um, study groups can be really helpful. Obviously, I think like it can help a lot to do your independent study to like learn the material and then come to your study group and do it all together. With that being said too, I think divvying up the work is so smart. Um, don't work smarter, not harder. <laughs> you do not need to do everything yourself. Like I would make a Kahoot or do like handwritten stuff or I would like find other resources, like really like nice templates to look at or like cheat sheets that people made. And then Macy would like work on the study guide. Like she would just sit there and listen to lectures and make the study guide cause that helped her. And then Violet would like highlight the PowerPoints during class. And then she would also the type out the charts where um, she would just put like disorder and like signs and whatever, like each category and they would all just line up so that you could compare them and we could just run through it um, and get quizzed and just like, just stuff like that. Just like test banks. Yeah. Test banks too. That's yeah, going back to practice questions. Those are really helpful. Yeah. If you find like, cause you can search like your specific textbook and find mm -hmm. like a test bank, which is just like practice questions mm -hmm. from your book and it's so helpful and especially yeah. a lot of them <clears throat> offer the rationale too yeah they can be expensive but if, especially if you're in a study group just like go go all in on it and we've had classes where the test bank has been the test almost and then we've also had classes where it really like wasn't too much but it was just helpful just to see questions that made us think about mm -hmm. the material that we were learning that was really nice well, also, sometimes your classes will use the same textbook. So, like, we bought the test bank for Adult Health 1, but it's the same book for 1, 2, and 3. And it was, like, what, 20 bucks? But, like, that's getting us through mm -hmm. three quarters. Yeah. Yep. Um, also, just, like, I, I know everyone says it, but literally just, like, time, like, time manage your time that's what I'm trying to say manage your time well and my biggest thing was like try to like study without studying like learn it like sit down and like learn by yourself and then then review but like try to learn as early as you can like if you just took a test like nobody wants to go and study for the next test right after the first test but I remember my first quarter because it's like it's your first quarter you don't know what your study habits are or anything I like for patho I would literally start study like two weeks ahead of the test just to make sure because we'd have so much material crammed into one and I know for cardiac specifically because it's just such a big thing that you you have to understand how the heart works to even understand a disorder about the heart so what I would do is I would go on YouTube and I would search videos and I would take notes while I watched the videos and I would learn it and then the next day or two days later I would go back over it and learn it again and make sure that I understood it and then that way, when it came to actually studying, all I had to do was, like, compare and contrast my disorders. And, like, I totally understood, like, how it was working because, obviously, patho is all about the patho. Um, that being said, also, simple nursing. We love, love him. him. We love a king. Nurse Mike. <laughs> love Nurse Mike. Um, nurse Sarah is a good one, too. I don't actually watch her a lot, but I know some of her. I used to a yeah. lot. Okay, do you want to tell more about simple nursing? So simple nursing is, I like this how do I even like explain? So you can get a subscription to where you get access to all of his videos, like full length. And then he also has quiz banks as well. And he's like all about like NCLEX based questions. So he's really good about that. And he's also good about researching what is trending for nursing exams as well as the NCLEX. So he always incorporates the questions throughout the videos. And then he's got the test bank. Um, but his videos are just so helpful. And they have like little pictures. And he's just so funny. Like he makes it fun. Mm -hmm. And he makes it like active. 
So it's always really nice. Um, cause he'll say something in a video. I it's can't even so think. Like, silly. Yeah. Like, and I'll remember it just because he said it in that way. But, uh, who? Calcium and magnesium are best friends. Yeah. And like phosphates his arch enemy. Like I remember that. So mm -hmm. calcium and magnesium go together. Yep. Um, he also helped me a lot for farm. I will say just like hearing what things go with what drug for some reason helped me a lot because he really tried to like make little quirky things like that to make it easier. Pam and lamb in a bed. <laughs> Pam and lamb. Pam and lamb. Um, what if that's for, um, for oh, benzos? Yes. They end in Pam or lamb. Jeez. And another place I like to get those is Christine Nurse in the Making on Etsy. She's also on Instagram. Um, she makes like such good cheat sheets of just like everything she has a whole bundle you can buy like separate things i have Here's her cards her oh, beautiful lab values i don't know if you can even see the oh <laughs> this is like an example of like one of christine's um yes. cheat sheets it's so wonderful and it's just nice because like you know it's it's hard to make things like pretty yourself but sometimes like seeing it so like nice like that is so helpful plus like the information is just there there's like a oh this is a simple nursing one so this one's like not one of the more pretty ones it's just more of like the information that you need to know but it's all like laid out together and so it's really nice so don't be like us and assume that you found the answers, okay? <laughs> I've said this before if you've seen oh, us talking up. on this channel before. Just don't assume <laughs> that you found it. Study, Study. every possible question you yeah. find. Study and then find some answers if you can because we literally paid for answers that we thought we found and they were for free on Quizlet verbatim. So just, just, don't, just don't trust it. Because you will fail. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. Oh, gosh. Just don't assume. Um, our routine. We can talk yeah. about our routine. We can talk about our routine. Okay. I think it is very helpful for me to have a good routine. And, like, so I am, yes, I uh, school sucks. But, like, I'm excited to get back into the swing of things and know like okay I'm gonna have class at this time I'm gonna do such and such but just going back to time management and make sure like you're planning out your day like as best as you can um but make sure you add in your schedule like time for something that you enjoy and something that isn't nursing like yes you're gonna be a nurse but like that's not your whole entire existence like do something like you love like I love to work out Amber loves to read books we love to work out together <laughs> I'm trying to learn to read books <laughs> okay I know how to read but like I'm trying to <laughs> learn to enjoy it hi I'm Jared um, I'm 19 and I never fucking learned how to read <laughs> um but that just really helps you just decompress yeah. and like declutter your brain like you get so much information and you just need something to take your mind off of it and something that you love whether that's like going for a walk going to the gym I love to paint like mm -hmm. just doing whatever is best for you that's like self-care yeah um but that having a routine also leads you into clinical mm -hmm. I was going to talk about um but yeah, moving on to clinical, first thing I'll say is play, like, look at your week and double check your schedule because things change all the time. People make mistakes all the time. You make mistakes all the time. It's just going to happen. And they'll change the yes. clinical schedule and not even tell you. So like, exactly. just check it, whether you love your teachers and they're the best ever and you think they'd never do this to you, like check your schedule, like repeatedly like make sure I have clinical tomorrow at this time and set multiple alarms something I love that I started doing is I have this the you've probably seen them but like the little docs that you can put like your your apple watch and put your phone on and whatever and that's like on the other side of my nightstand so I actually have to, like I can't reach it like I have to get out of bed to turn my alarm off so I'll put my phone on that so that it actually makes me get up or else it's still still blaring at me but that really helps me not to just be like snooze and then end up missing my alarm 
I um, have had clinical with one of my friends pretty much every time and she lives an hour away just like I do. So what we would do is be like, text me when you wake up or like if I don't text you by this time, you don't text me by this time, we have to call each other and like wake each other up. So if you can do that, like definitely phone a friend and be like, make sure I'm up in the morning because you just never know, like the power will go out for, who knows. But say you do wake up to a phone call from your classmate when you're supposed to be there at six and you're still in bed. And then, um, okay, this happened to me. Um, what does help is making sure the night before you have everything like packed and ready to go. So if you are, say you wake up at your last alarm, like you can throw on your outfit, grab your breakfast, like head out the door. You don't have to be scrummaging around for what paperwork do I need? Where's my pen? Where's my pen light? Where's my stethoscope? Like just make sure you have everything all put together. Should we talk about the clipboard or have you already shown them? I have already shown them, but okay. we can talk about it again. Oh, that's okay. Highly recommend the clipboard that <laughs> everybody talks about. The clipboard. But it's just, it's like a trifold clipboard you can get on Amazon and it's so helpful to like take around in clinical. Get the trifold, not the, yeah, not the, not bi the half. The bifold one doesn't fit in like Fig's pockets. So then what's the point of having a foldable clipboard that you can't put in your pocket? You know, but um, a lot of people think, oh, okay, all this paperwork, I need to get the clipboard that opens up and I can like put stuff in. No, you it need like the fold one so you can just stick it in your pocket. You don't have to worry about leaving it in the patient's room. Mm -hmm. There's countless times like my classmates be like, where did my stuff go? Oh, shoot, I left it in there. Let me go grab it. Because like you have to set it down to do stuff, but it's so handy to just have your hands free and ready to help and do whatever yes also talking about clinical like it's hard to have confidence i know when like you're new to clinical like i've experienced it so many times ask your questions ask to do it yourself like be like hey can you show me how to do this you like walk me nine times it? out of ten they're going they're going to do that like you're there to learn that's the whole point don't like stand in the background and be like oh like i'm here if you need me no like go up to them like you see somebody doing something hey do you need help or it I, doesn't have watch. to be your nurse yeah Even, like, anything can I watch? yeah i've had um people doing cardiac caths and like all kinds of things which they're like kind of strict on us about following things like that but it's clinical we're supposed to be learning and seeing things most of the time they're like oh my gosh yeah come on like come see it get you some nice shoes Get you some nice shoes if you, if you can at some point. Don't get the freaking Walmart shoes. I have Walmart shoes from my other job. It's awful. Don't do it. Get you some Hoka's. They're like amazing. Obviously, there's better like there's shoes out there that aren't like hella expensive. Just get some nice support. Get you some inserts if you have to. Get the dad be, shoes. You're gonna be running around yes. like literally. Just for example, for my tech job today, my stand hours are 18 out of 12. Or, or the supposed, the goal of 12, uh, obviously it's out of 24 hours. But my steps are 16,000. <laughs> Could it be me? My feet hurt. Mm -hmm. Running this game for five years. Yes. That's why my feet hurt. Um, but yeah, I will say like with my Hoka's, cause like I have OnClouds too, which OnClouds did help me for a while, but I feel like they can lose their cushion some a little bit. But I noticed a difference between like both. Like when I just used to wear my other shoes to clinical, my feet would hurt so bad. Like with my Hoka's, like I, I didn't walk around a lot today, but like I've already worked a 12 and I worked eight hours yesterday. I don't, my feet don't hurt, like period. And honestly, it makes my back feel better and my legs feel better. And it's just so much better. Um, so then going off of clinicals, if you can get a tech or an extern job, I highly recommend for one, it's a learn more learning experience and you get paid. And so many people are doing incentives right now, too. Like, we, like, you get extra money when you work even more. So, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. And I just started. Macy started, like, two months ago. Well, at this job. But I started my tech job 2017. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> so. And you can tell the difference. You really can. Yeah. Because, like, Macy's got, like, more, like, confidence, especially with patients, because she's just so used to, like, going in the rooms and doing these, like, little things. There's just so many things that nurses don't always get to do, but they should know how to do because it, everybody's there for the patient. doesn't matter well, if you're you a doctor. Don't do in clinical. Yes. That you need to know. Yes. I have literally given, like, 
half a bed bath and clinical haven't done foley iv any of that but even those are like nursing skills even just like the little tech things like mm -hmm. i haven't even changed a bed on my own like i've helped change a bed and i'm like doing it more and more now like just in the past three shifts that i've worked i've done so much more than i feel like i have in clinical just because in clinical you are like there to follow that nurse and obviously you're there to help everyone like we always try to make it a point to ask every nurse or every tech, like, hey, do you need help? Or, like, I'm always here. Like, grab anything you can for anyone just because it's going to help you learn. But you're also being very helpful and you're, like, how do you say it? Like, almost marketing yourself in a good way because, like, there are a lot of people that go to clinical and they're like, we want to hire you. Mm -hmm. So, like, people are always watching and people people know each other everywhere, especially in healthcare. Even on a tech job, they'll yes. offer you a job. And be like, hey, like, do you want to work on this floor now? Or do you want to maybe work here whenever you graduate? And if you are a nurse, like, in a place where we work, and then you have those techs, then you're not always going to get to do the little stuff like that. So it's good to get it now before you're a nurse because you're just going to have more appreciation for it and also just be able to do it. You don't want to be a new grad trying to learn your nursing skills or, like, making sure you're passing meds right and being, like, stressed because it's hard. Like, it's, a, it's just so much at one time. You don't want to have to be stressing about a blood pressure or something like that. You don't know how to take it yes. right or hook up the machine or... Yeah, just to wrap it up, give yourself some freaking credit. You are killing it. And nursing school is so hard. Like, they, they call it one of the hardest majors for a reason. Mm -hmm. And you always just need to have grace with yourself just because you didn't get the grade you wanted or you might just be really disappointed about like anything clinical experience grade anything you just need to not be so hard on yourself because you're still gonna graduate you can do it it's not the end of the world I know it feels like it it's not it's not fun I mean most of it just isn't fun but some of it is fun and that's why you should get get a group do, like Macy said, do the stuff that gets your mind off of nursing. Do things that make you happy. If you have a significant other or friends that aren't in nursing school, like I know my friends are very understanding that like I'm just way busier than they are and I don't have the luxury of just like doing whatever whenever. I really recommend just sitting down with those people in your life and like planning out time with them because they can be understanding all day long, but they're still going to feel neglected sometimes like that's just a natural thing but you don't want that to also stress you out and distract you because you're trying to do this like really hard thing and get your career um so I think that's really helpful um also celebrate like Macy said we have like a tradition like after every quarter we go out and we party like just go out on the town whatever it is just... go freaking bowling I don't care yeah. go have a house party, go to the movies, like, do whatever, and we always try to do that, like, in the beginning of the quarter, we're all, like, getting back into it, but it's not super crazy, we'll try to, like, go see a movie or do something together, that, just because we have, like, more time, that way we can just kind of enjoy things that aren't nursing a little bit, um, yeah, I think that's it, you have anything else to say, any words Good of luck. encouragement, <laughs> Good luck, and, you got this. You seriously got this. Like, you might not make the highest grade in the class, but, like, that doesn't mean you're not going to be a kick-ass nurse. Exactly. Like, just trust yourself and trust the process. It sucks, but you will get through it. Yes. You will be learning for the rest of your career. Like, just take a breath. Do your best. That is literally all you can do. And you're going to make it. And we are always here for you. You're Feel free to drop in the comments, like, whatever you want. Just safe space. Yeah. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having a chit-chat with us. And I hope you're having a great, awesome, beautiful, wonderful, freaking amazing day. Like, comment, subscribe to Amber.